Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Meg and this is Skylark Beauty. Today I'm going to be going over my weekly obsessions and sometimes I have fails, but this week I don't have any. I actually only have products that I really like. So without further ado, let's get started. My first like of the week, actually of the last two weeks, is this Modessa, it's Modess, Modessa travel mirror so it's like padded faux leather and then you open it and the mirror is right here and you can set it at different angles depending on what you need and the mirror quality itself is great and I don't worry about breaking it. It's really sturdy and it works really well because I go back and forth between my parents house and everything like that. So it's nice to have a big old travel size mirror the size of my face that I can really see what's going on when I put my makeup on. And it's so compact and it just fits in my tote bag like boop. And I just enjoy it and love it so much. The second product that I've really been enjoying that I wasn't sure if I was going to enjoy or not is the Pure Lit Mist Illuminating Setting Spray. It looks like this caps on all the way and the sprayer is interesting it's a big fat sprayer like this and the first few times I used it I was not happy because the sprayer kept getting like stuck and then it would pop up randomly and it was not I couldn't just spray like this but now I can for some reason I guess I had to break it in or something but I do like the spray on this you have to hold it kind of far away or else it is a little too aggressive but I really like the way that it's not offensive smelling. It really works well. And you have a little ball in here so that you do have to shake it up because it is illuminating and it has tiny little shimmer particles in it that you can see that are moving around. But I really like it and it has something called blue light defense. So essentially you spray it on your face and then when you're using electronics and things like that, it won't damage your skin or anything like that. So I know a lot of things are anti-blue light. Yeah, so this is an anti-blue light illuminating setting spray and I highly suggest it now that the pump's working. Speaking of anti-blue light, I have these bad boys that are pretty cool that I got from Amazon because sleep hygiene is a, is a big thing that I think people need to work on, including myself people don't realize how important it is in order to get a good night's sleep. Now these bad boys I got on Amazon, and that's really dirty, hold on. I got on Amazon, and they are blue light protection glasses. So everything does look a little yellow, but you get used to it, and I wear them at night after, as soon as the sun starts going down, I wear them at night, so that when I use my phone and things like that, I'm not getting that blue light that keeps you awake. And I love them. They're only like $10 on Amazon. Go figure, right? So my next favorite is one that I think I might have mentioned before, or maybe not, but it is it's the Black Magic Liquid Eyeliner and Wide Lash from Ico. And it is waterproof, lash enhancing. It has a precision brush tip and it's in carbon black. And it looks like this. It is incredible. It does have a brush tip. It is very, very, very black, and it doesn't skip. For a brush tip, it's very, very friendly, user-friendly, because it's so fine that you can't get a, you know how some liners like are just so aggressive and you put them on and you get a really fat, big line really quickly? This doesn't do that. You, you, it gives you the control that you can really build up a line and take little strokes as you go and then have control over your wing, like, I did today, you can't really see it because it's smoky, but yeah. So the Black Magic from Ico, highly suggest it. It's not too shiny. It dries pretty matte. You can see the sun hitting it. It dries pretty matte, which I like too, because a lot of waterproof ones can't dry matte. That's just not, it's part of the formula. It can't dry matte, but this does. And so I highly suggest it. You can get it at Ulta. I get mine on Ipsy if you're an Ipsy member because, oh my hands shaking if you're an ipsy member because you get money back so i would suggest doing that then my next favorite is the favorite it is oh man it's the favorite it's the going coconuts palette from ColourPop. 
and these are the colors look at that neutral palette look at that that's incredible those shades are beautiful i didn't use it on my eyes today i used my beloved la girl the nudist palette but this is something i can see myself using every day it's leaning a tiny bit cool on some shades but for the most part dead neutral it is very beginner friendly you can really just use these four and keep a pretty neutral light look or you can smoke it out with these bottom three and i really really like this color because it's a matte with shimmer in it it's a matte with flecks of shimmer in it and so when you put it on it has the consistency of a matte shadow but it does translate with these beautiful little flecks of like silver gold shimmer so it's a very interesting shadow these metallics are just insanely creamy and beautiful so if anybody wants i can do a swatch review and an eye look review on this but i would highly suggest getting this it's 18 dollars on colourpop's website and they'll probably start selling it at ulta too so check it out it's not that expensive it won't break the bank to get it and it's something that i think you'll get your money's worth out of because you can't not use a neutral palette it's something that works with every outfit every occasion every day it's just very work appropriate so check it out then this product goes along with it it's part of the same line it's the ColourPop coconuts bronzer now there's two shades this one is coconut beach this is what it looks like so it looks really dark and it is kind of dark i'm wearing it today but what i do is i dip in and really tap off my brush before i go in and try and chisel out those cheeks and my forehead well it's a perfect neutral bronzer that you can actually use for contour as well so i would suggest it for either or sorry my voice is like cracking because i think i'm getting sick so you know it is what it is the only thing that i would say to be careful of is just gently tapping your brush in seems to be the best way of doing it because there is so much kickback and i have to dip it in and then blow off the excess every single time because there's a lot of excess so that's the only thing that i could critique it I love the color, I love the consistency, I love how evenly it goes on. The one thing that I would take points away from it is how powdery and kickbacky it is because I don't know how fast I'm gonna go through this because I have Spectacle from ColourPop and that one, that bronzer doesn't go through very quickly and it's not very powdery either. But I, I still like the formula a lot so I just hope that the kickback doesn't make me go through this product faster than normal because it, it trust me it's a lot of kickback but it's just such a beautiful formula and the way it goes on is so beautiful that i feel like i can't ignore that so check it out i think these are only eight dollars beautiful bronzer you can get this one or the warmer tone one then for my final favorite of the week or update of the week rather i'm going to talk about the revolution forever flawless palette look how gorgeous this is it's marble it's marble it's plastic but you get a mirror you get a mirror and look at these shades oh my gosh so if you're getting tired of the warms and things like that i understand that but there's some cooler tones over here as i put my finger in that eyeshadow there's some cooler tones over here on this side and then there's some pops of warmer shadows right here but for the most part it is kind of leaning neutral and the pinks obviously not so much but if you cover those two pinks up i can't if you cover those two pinks up it's a pretty neutral palette see what i'm saying the quality of these shadows is incredible i think this was like 15 dollars, and you get so many shadows and i've created a multitude of looks and I really like them. There's not much kickback and the quality is just so impressive for how cheap the palette was. I've always liked Revolution Beauty and I think that they're only going up from where they started. And even if this is copying a certain palette, they're known for copying palettes and things like that. I still highly enjoy it and would recommend it because they have multiple color stories. They have other ones like this, like this Forever Flawless. Oh, I'm sorry, this is Forever Flawless Decadent. So they have a Forever Flawless collection of different color schemes like this, and this one is called Decadent. So there are other ones, maybe I'll put them up on the screen, I don't know, I don't know. Depends on how much energy I have. But anyway, so this is Decadent, and I, like I said, 
great color story leaning towards neutral great satiny creamy pigment and not much kickback so check these out I got mine at Ulta and I like getting things at Ulta because of the point system but you could also get it from Makeup Revolution online their their site I believe so so that wraps up my weekly update for this week pretty soon I'm going to be doing oh wow I think I'm going to do a monthly favorites here next week sometime after Thanksgiving. I hope everyone has a great Thanksgiving, great holiday, just a great time with their family or friends. And with that, I will see you in my next video. Thanks, bye.